Alright, in this video tutorial we're going to show you how to cut out and uh, get ready to put together trusses. The trusses for an 8x8 uh, gable shed plan with a 412 pitch roof. And this is the cover sheet of our plans that we have here. Okay, the first thing you want to do is find out what the roof pitch is. And then you're going to cut all the wood so that it matches that, all the angles on the wood to match that pitch. Our plans show that we have a 4 and 12 pitch, which means for every 4 inches up that the roof goes, it goes horizontally 12. Our, our shed plans come with a, uh, with a template, a full-size template that you can actually lay on the, on the board and trace over to get this angle for the, the roof peak angle. But today we're going to show you how to do it with a speed square. So the first one that we want to cut is the, the peak which is showing 18 degrees, which is really close to what a 4 and 12 is on a speed square. Okay, all squares that are like this will have a a set of marks that show what, where to cut the pitch for a common truss. This is common there. And we're looking for 4 and 12. So we're going to match the 4 up. And the trick is, is to get this point lined up with the 4 on your board, and then you mark it down here, and that'll give you a 4 and 12 pitch. So you take that, put it on the end, line this four up with the edge of the board right there. See how that lines up so that it's straight down over that. And then you take your pencil and you mark it. And that's your four and twelve. That's the 18 degree pitch. You take your saw. And mount, put your board up on a block of wood like this, and you cut your, you cut along the, the line. Now we have a four and twelve pitch on our for our ridge. Now you'll repeat the same thing for the other for the other side in a minute, but first we're going to um, we're going to cut out the rest of the the rafter. Okay, our trusses show that we need a four foot six and three quarter inch long board. So we're going to take our tape measure, which we have out here. We're going to hook it on the end of the board, and now it has to be on the on the high end. It can't be, you know, down here. It has to be on the very tip of the high end. Let's make sure it's hooked right there. And you come back and you find your four foot six and three quarters inches. Okay, I flipped this around so that you could see it. But we need to be right at four foot six and three quarters of an inch. So you put a mark right at four foot six and three quarters. And then mark it good so you don't lose it. You take your, uh, your square and butt it up against the... This time you put the stop right up against the full length along the board. Both ends have to be touching, so this is a perfect 90 degrees. And then you take your speeds and line up your mark there, and you take your pencil and you mark it. You have a good mark. Okay, now that we have our mark, right here we're going to take our saw, put it up on a block of wood so that the so that the blade doesn't hit the concrete or ground when you start cutting, and you start to cut. Sounds like my battery's getting a little low. And there you have it.